Hi, everybody. Okay. Um, hi, guys. Uh, so today I'm going to give you a bit of a history lesson. Um, I'm going to talk about the history of lime skittles, how they were replaced with green apple, and how they clawed their way back from being pushed out. Um, and in so doing the research for this, I was sort of reminded of something, and that is how bad candy history is online. And by bad, I mean how inaccurate it is, how much bad information is out there on the internet. And there really is a lot of bad information out there. One of my missions over the last 15 years is really to come out and not only document the things that are forgotten and unknown, but also where bad information has been put out there to try to correct it and give people better information and hopefully just sort of at this point remind everybody that if you want to get this stuff right, you got to come to me. So let's do it. Um, all right. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the deep history of Skittles, um, which goes way back. If you go online and you Google, uh, Google, Googling is not research, folks. But anyway, so if you Google, <laughs> um, if you Google the history of Skittles, you will find a story. You go to the Wikipedia. It says Skittles were first made commercially in 1974 by a British company. Pretty vague. The name of the candy Skittles. I'm not going to get into that because that's just BS. Um, they were first introduced in North America in 1979. Wow, as an import confectionery. And then in 1982, domestic production of Skittles began in the United States. How much of that is wrong? Pretty much every sentence of it. Um, and then that's the Wikipedia. Then I'm going to jump to a few other sites. I've got my little notes here. Um, something called the factsite.com, the chewy candle, the, the chewy candy that we are so familiar with today first came into existence in 1974. Well, that's also wrong, but closer than 1979. Skittles spent the first five years of their lives solely in Britain solely in Britain since it wasn't until 1979 that North America got a chance to quote taste the rainbow well well the fact site is none of that is factual um, for the record Skittles were made in the UK originally um, they were not actually available in the UK until 1986 so all of that's wrong but that's okay um, then there's a website called what is this P oh it's a Penn State University I believe history of candy they are, again, repeating the 1974 story. Oh, then there's another fact.net. I love that it's facts.net. Skittles first came to the United States as an import confectioner in 1979. And they also say Mars Candy Company first made Skittles commercially in 1974. Both of those, again, wrong. Um, then we've got, what is this, wolfsden.org. Skittles was first introduced back in 1974 in American markets. Wrong. Um, and as you probably have realized, this candy was loosely based on the M&M's products. Okay, well, that's just kind of, they're just talking out their butt right there. Um, and I jump around, and finally I found, well, some of this stuff has to go back. I go, I find the history of Skittles on the Mars.com site, the official site. They must certainly know the truth. And what is it? It's um, Skittles were first introduced in the late 70s, 1979, 1980s. Uh, it's all the same stuff. So apparently the Wikipedia may have got their bad information from Mars. You'd think that Mars would be accurate, you know. Um, but as it turns out, a lot of this stuff, even the people at the companies don't know. And that's the thing that's surprising. And that's why I got a job. That's why I do what I do. Okay, so the question is, if all of this information, if all of this at facts, if fa the fact site is wrong, if Wikipedia is wrong, if facts.net is wrong, and if Mars.com is wrong, what is right? Um, well, there's a lot. There's a lot to the history of Skittles, and I know a lot. And I've in I've interviewed the people who've actually invented Skittles. I'm saving a lot of that story for a little later, probably for my book. Um, but I will tell you this: Skittles were first available at retail to consumers in the United States in stores. Not in 1974, but in 1971. Um, for those of you quick on your feet, that means Skittles has a surprise birthday party this year. They turned 50. Surprise! Um, happy birthday, Skittles. You're 50 years old. You don't look a day over uh, 37. Um, no, so it's true. Skittles turned 50 this year. Somehow Mars doesn't know it. Somehow Wikipedia doesn't know it. They really do don't know. Somehow facts.net and facts and the truth.com. None of those guys know, um, but I do. Um, and it's really not that remarkable how I know. Um, the fact of the matter is, 
1971, throughout 1971, or at least toward the end of 1971, throughout 1972, throughout 1973 and 74, uh, newspaper ads were advertising Skittles, grocery stores, stores, there were coupons. Um, Skittles were massively available in the United States in 1971, no earlier. So 1971 looks to be the most solid origin date. I don't know where 1974 came from. I don't know. I just don't know. That, that just sounds completely made up. Um, but there it is. And isn't that fascinating how all those people could be wrong um, about that? Um, but guess what? They're not going to be any more. I'm sure someone will update the Wikipedia and not give me credit for the proper information. I hope they do. Maybe they could say Jason Liebig's, uh, you know, obnoxious Instagram video as the, you know, as their attribution. Um, I'll be curious to see what Mars says, if they even got this far in the video. They're like, who is this jerk? Um, and my message to Mars, as it always is, you know, I know you guys have used some of my articles and business meetings and stuff. You can always have me come down. I would love to visit the archives. I would love to talk to your, your historian if you have one. Or, you know, you could just hire me to freelance um, and do some history work for you. I've done that before. Because um, wouldn't that be fun if we actually got it right? Uh, I know it would be for me. <laughs> okay, so that that is the true history of Skittles. Happy birthday, 2021. Now we have something to celebrate for Skittles. Skittles probably won't acknowledge that, but, you know, it's true. They can try to hide their age, but we all know how old they really are. Um, all right, and I'm, I'm going to throw something on the screen to show that, I mean, but, you know. I think by this point you guys trust me. All right, I have another page of notes, and this is the story of Lime Skittles. This is not nearly as controversial. It's interesting. Um, Lime Skittles were a part of the original Skittles flavor mix. What was that? It was strawberry, grape, orange, lemon, and lime. Five flavors. Um, nice arrangement of flavors. And those were the flavors in the standard Skittles pack for decade after decade after decade. A few more years than most people guessed, as it turns out. Um, so, yeah, so we have these five flavors. It wasn't actually, even though other flavor mixes started being introduced in the 80s, tropical, berry, and so on, and then a lot more in the, in the 2000s, sour, you know, you had carnival mixes, chocolate. Um, it wasn't until 2010 when Skittles first toyed with the original mix. And what they did was they didn't just replace lime permanently. They did it as a limited edition. So what they said was, hey, guys, limited edition. Um, green apple is now in packs just for a short time. Um, but even on those packs, even though they said it was only for a short time at the bottom of the pack, they had a little message that, said, that asked a question to consumers. It said, keep the apple lose the lime and tell us at skittles.com so they were looking for consumer feedback which maybe they got and maybe people said oh we want green apple the green apple lobby was very strong in 2010 um that said by 2012 um they had actually they had ended the limited edition and they had gone back to lime which maybe was always the plan um but that said um it was a very short time later it was early 2013 lime was gone so they brought in green apple and at that point it was no longer limited edition it just packs started coming out that said now with green apple so in tw it went from 2010 2011 we had the limited edition then by the end of 2011 we got lime back but then a year a little longer later then we lost lime and lime seemed to be gone forever now lime skittles themselves sort of did float around through other mixes because there were a lot of other mixes. Right then, right as soon as Lime was gone, there was actually a mix called the Dark Side Mix, very cool dark blue package, and they had a flavor called Midnight Lime, not quite the same as Standard Lime, but there was a lime flavor in there. Um, that said, even Skittles Dark Side didn't stick around forever. It wasn't until 2015, with the introduction of Skittles Orchards, that we got the actual original lime flavor back, and we had it in the Skittles Orchard mix for about a year. So then 2016 came, once again, we were limeless. So we had to wait around until 2017 before we got a special edition package, which was actually the original mix of flavors, and it was called the Long, Long Lost Lime Mix. And we got those, I believe, originally at Walmarts, um, exclusively, and then I think they came out again the next summer, but then I think they were everywhere you could get them at other stores. The Long Lost Lime Mix. So 27 to 2018 was a pretty magical time where you got the Green Apple mix of Skittles side by side for a while with the Long Lost Lime Mix. That said, 
by 2019, those were all gone, sold out, expired. Lime was once again thrown under the dust dustbin of history, and uh, we didn't have them. So 2019 was a dark year for Lime Skittles. 2020 was just, just 2020. Also, no Lime Skittles. However, 2021... Um, we don't just get Lime Skittles back, we get all Lime Skittles back. So the guys at Mars are definitely paying attention. They, uh, they knew people have been clamoring for this. One of my close friends has been clamoring for Lime Skittles to come back. And they've given us bags of purely just filled with Lime Skittles. You could go and pull out all the green apple out of a regular mix and sort of create an original mix Skittles. You can do that right now. Um, I'm actually having trouble tracking down the all Lime mix. Uh, the only reason I have any packs to show or the only reason I've had a chance to try them is because my friend Foodie with the Beasts, Instagram food influencer, um, Amy, uh, thank you, um, Foodie, and uh, she's fantastic, Foodie with the Beasts, uh, follow her if you don't, but she hooked me up with a couple bags that she got at the Sweets and Snacks Expo. Um, since getting those and trying them, of course I wanted to go out and try some more. Every place I go, I just find empty racks where they should be, so I'm just finding a lot of empty, empty racks, which is very disappointing. Um, so at least around New York, uh, Lime Skittles, they're selling out like crazy. So that is the very short history of Lime, the battle between Lime and Green Apple Skittles. It's actually in the scope of the, gets right, 50-year history of Skittles. It's just a very short part. It's just the last 10 years. Um, but still, it's interesting. It's interesting how these things happen. Um, why do companies do this? Well, they're always looking for some way to get consumers engaged, um, with the brand and to get them to, to have ownership and even taking something away gives that. But I assume when they had the little, you know, tell us what you think, I assume people actually did vote for Green Apple because I'm sure a lot of people love Green Apple Skittles. As it turns out, a lot of people love the lime and they liked them for 40 years before that. Um, so that's it. Um, I'm giving you the history and the knowledge no one else can because I'm that guy who does that. Um, but anyway, that's the end of today's uh, history lesson. I guess my Skittles history lesson. Um, uh, Mars, call me. Um, we should talk. And uh, everybody else, um, I hope you dug it. Um, and let's, uh, let's throw a party for Skittles, right? Happy 50th. All right. See you guys. Until next time. Bye.